Welcome, everyone. I am Renee Strauss, co-founder of Wedaways with my wonderful daughter, Pamela Goldman, who is an amazing business partner, and we've grown this business together in a dual-sided marketplace. Wedaways.com is a search engine for luxury properties around the world that cater to the wedding and honeymoon markets. And Pamela leads the travel agency department with her team, and she works directly with wedding planners and clients to take care of all of their local and destination wedding travel needs from venue sourcing to room blocks to ground transfers and excursions and all that wonderful stuff for the weddings that we are so excited to be working on together. It's a wonderful collaboration and we're delighted that you've taken your time to join us today. You already know that we have another webinar series in progress. Episode two will be on Thursday, July 16th, next Thursday, same time, same station, the Wedaways advantage, travel, and the business of weddings, the value of venue sourcing. It will be an in-depth, wonderful hour of all the wonderful things that we can do together and how we can expand your markets and you can offer so much more to your clientele. So we're very excited about that. The Viceroy Resorts and Hotels are sponsoring the webinar series. And one lucky wedding planner that will have tuned into all three webinars and posted on social media will win three nights and four days with breakfast daily, a special dining experience for two, two spa treatments, and a special in-room amenity at one of the four Viceroy hotels and resorts that we feature on Wetaways. So you're definitely going to have to go into the system and check out which ones you love best so you can vie for that one. It will be your choice. Well, today we're very excited because we are going to the Italian Lake District. It is one of my personal favorite places in all of Italy. The lakes are magnificent and the properties that are joining us today have been with Wetaways since the very beginning. They were early adapters and believers in Wetaways.com and they've grown with us. We are going to Lake Maggiore and Lake Orta, two magnificent lakes in the north. And Ivan is joining us for hotel and Palazzo Villa Aminta on Lake Maggiore. And Sylvia is bringing us Villa Crespi on Lake Orta. Thank you both very much for joining us today. Thank you, Renee, Thank you for so giving us the opportunity to share our resort and our information with you and all, with all the attendees. Thank so, you. Thank you, that's so, great. Okay, so oh, yeah. Ivan, you're going to start. You can go ahead and start with your presentation. Thank you. Yeah, so much. can I go? Yes. Ready to go on Lake Majores? So let me share my screen just a second. Okay, so I think that now you can see the presentation. And we can start with the Villa and Palazzo Minta, which is on beautiful Lake Majore. Uh, which is the find the most romantic lake in Italy. Uh, for people who are not familiar with the Lake District, the Lake District is in the northern part of Italy and Lake Maggiore is the second biggest lake after the big one, which is Lake Orta, and the third one, which is Lake Como. And then we have other small lakes, beautiful lakes like Lake Orta, Lake Iseo, and some other. Um, that's Lake Maggiore. And the location is very easy access because we are just 50 minutes driving from Milan downtown where I personally live and just 35 minutes from the International Mopensa Airport and very easy access also by train with uh, a very good connection with Milano Centrale to straight in 42 minutes by train. We are in the northern part of Italy. We are in Piedmont. And that's Villa Aminta, which is a very five-star luxury property. It's the sole leading hotel of the world member in the whole Piedmont and uh, the Chosa signature as well. Uh, we are a boutique hotel as we've got 70 rooms in total in a private mansion that dates back to the 1850. And we are the one and only just facing the three famous Borromean Island. You can see in the background, 
the Isola Bella, which is one of the three. And uh, uh, why living Villa Aminta? There are so many uh, opportunities and reasons to come and stay with us, but I want to share just some beautiful and, uh, uh, you know, uh, appealing pictures. And that's the resort seen by the lake waters. We've got the private beach with the three moorings and all the boats that go back and forth every day to and from the island with an helipad that leads you from the Malpensa airport to the hotel in 50 minutes only with a very, very nice flight over the island and over the lake and over all the territories that are surrounding the property. Uh, that's the main building and on the left hand side you've got the Palazzo Wing, which is the new part built after, after the year 2000. That's why the name is Villa e Palazzo Aminta. When you enter the property, the mood is to enter in a private house. It is a family-led property and just um, behind the two uh, columns we've got the two checking counters. Then when you enter on the right, you've got the living where we uh, welcome the guests up on arrival, especially for couples, because this resort has a very romantic story to be told, as it was a wedding present of Admiral Capice that bought the resort, the, the villa, and dedicated it to the, his beloved wife, who was called Aminta, and the name has never changed during those years. So. It is a very romantic and loving story, okay? So that's the main A that leads to the piano bar, where we've got also the lounge e principi bar and the winery for the wine, cheese, salami, and marmalade tasting, handmade by our maestri pastry or the chefs. And when you reach the piano bar area, you've got the live background music entertainment, you have two choices of the Italian culinary experience. The first one, which I love very much, is the Imori Italian restaurant with this beautiful romantic rock shaped gazebo in crystal and wrought iron with the direct access to the gardens. You can uh, host here 45 people, so it's a very cozy restaurant for private venues or beautiful weddings because it allows you 180 degrees view of the lake and the gardens. And then when you get out, you've got also the main Le Isola restaurant, which is a very elegant hall of 185 seats with a panoramic terrace just outside facing the lake and the garden and the island, of course. And then from here, you can also see the pool all the terrace and this is the sunset uh, and with, in the garden we have we've got also the uh, barbecue tasting because we, you, you can do a lot of things also to explore the Italian uh, dishes all typical territorial dishes okay uh, the rooms are 70 of nine categories and we start with the entry level which is the part view room but Every single room has its own private balcony or terrace, the jacuzzi tap in the bath. Then we've got the minibar included in the room rate, all the Villa Minta amenities. And then going to the upper levels, you've got the uh, junior suite like this one with 18 square meters of terraces. And from here, you can very well see the position of the resort just in the middle of, three, the, of the three island. On the right, you've got the Isola Bella. In the middle, you've got the Isola Madre, and on the left, the Fisherman Island. Two of them are belonging to the Prince of Borromeo. And on the Isola Madre, you've got a very huge botanical garden with kind of plants coming from all over the world. Uh, on, over the Isola Bella, you've got a building belonging to the Prince. And from the middle to the end of the island, the most important example of Italian gardens in the world with the white peacocks doing the round hill just in front of you. And if you if you want to take a stroll or you're after uh, lunch appetizer, you can go to the Fisherman Island, which is very crowded of small restaurant bistro, narrow street and cable stones. You can take a stroll just before coming back and, you are, and having your fine dining uh, at the villa. So Junior Suite, modern style, very contemporary one. Those are the flower suite with the two floors on the ground. You've got the bedroom and the bathroom and upstairs you've got a living. 
and most of them are connecting uh, with the same category as well as upper categories. This is one of my favorite ones because it's one of the Belvedere suite and just behind these curtains, you've got uh, the jacuzzi and why you're you're having your jacuzzi massage. If you open the curtains, you see the lake and the island. And that's the same category in a, a different layout. We've, we'll go over to the two Litz Taylor suite, call in that way, because in 1966, Litz Taylor and Richard Barton stayed there for one week uh, during one of their Love Italian escape, okay? So those are the huge and biggest suite we've got at the resort is 126 meters each. So it's a very huge flat. And I would like just to end with our suite, La Borromea, which takes the fifth floor of, of the Palazzo Wing with the private stairs and elevators that is going up. All the terraces are going all around the suite. You've got a dome-shaped living room allowing you uh, the view over the island. Then from the uh, bed, you can see the living and one of the two private terraces. Then you enter in the walking wardrobe, the main bath with the jacuzzi in the middle and another terrace there. You can get out from here and get in from the opposite side of the suite. So this is very, very suitable for honeymooner or uh, uh, weddings because that's the penthouse suite of uh, Villa Minta. Also, because if you want to wake up in, the, in a different way, just in front of your bed, you've got the, your own private jacuzzi that is overlooking the Gulf and the Three Island. So this is the sole suite with these facilities. And I think that today it represents the luxurious suite over the Lake Majora. Then we've got a spa at the minus one in the rocky basement on which stands the resort with the relaxing area. We've got the gym fitness with personal trainers. We've got seven cabins for massage and the grotto, which is a natural cave that for many years in the past was used as wine and cheese, etc. But when we refurbished the spa in 2006, we uh, switched into a thermarium, so you've got 38, 40 degrees inside with a track or aromatherapy and sensory showers first. Then you've got the amam or steam bath. And then you've got also the jacuzzi for the fixed person, the heated seat and all the relaxing area uh, from where the picture was taken. And in terms of venue, we can set up all the, the restaurant, all the gardens, uh, according to the public case. This is a portion of the main restaurant set up for a private dinner. As you can see from this picture, you are always facing the lake and the island. Then we've got a very beautiful and sensational concierge service. We are uh, able to hire sport car, vintage car, uh, all the services that are uh, completing the wedding uh, experience at Villa Minta. If you want to come with your four leg friends, you can do it. And we've got also cakes and uh, menus and massage for the dogs and pets. Then uh, we've got seven golf courses uh, around 25 minutes driving from the resort. So you can also get married and then playing golf, why not? So you can also explore the territory, but also an agreement with a very fast uh, speedboat over the lake that you can use for a uh, visit or for having fun or just this is a bride and this is a couple that is visiting the island with this beautiful uh, speedboat which is a uh, Tullio Abate okay very very powerful and those are some pictures taken by now of the building because it's completely lit by night that's the main entrance you can have also the side facing the lake with all the restaurants. Then you've got the junior suite, the La Borromeo over the top here. And uh, uh, while you are going to the upper levels, you've got a very nice view over the lake and the island, which are facing you. And uh, especially for weddings, we are open all year round. Uh, the operation season normally goes from the end of March, beginning of uh, April till the end of October, um, apart 
this particular year because we will close on the 15th of November. But if you want to get married during the low season, you can also um, get the whole resort in exclusivity by just booking 20 rooms in just one night. And I just want to remember you that we are open also for Christmas and New Year a party. We are the sole resort open on the Lake Majora. So for every uh, question, every uh, idea um, or you know, queries, I'm at your disposal, but please contact Rene or Pamela. They are uh, our preferred partner uh, for the weddings. And we are just here to waiting for you. So please come, stay with us, and enjoy Italy. Oh, that is just fabulous. You know, I'm glad you're on this picture, Yvonne, because yep. two things I want to share with our viewers. Um, this resort hotel has always reminded me of one of those watercolor chalk drawings. I guess it's chalk, not watercolor, in the pavement in Mary Poppins, where Mary Poppins is coming along with her chimney sweep and they are with the kids and they just jump right into one of those drawings. It's so beautiful and colorful and, and just the architecture of the building. It looks actually like a wedding cake. It's just yeah. so beautiful. And I have a little personal story. Okay. Um, got married on Capri, I got engaged on Isola Bella right across from the property and it was so magical, the place. You can even um, have all the guests and the wedding party and the couple stay on at Villa Aminta and they can go across the lake and have an experience on, um, on Isola Bella because previously the Borromeo Islands were not open to the public, but there is a new collaboration. And I know that Yvonne, you collaborate with the team because we've met each other all together and we've discussed how we can actually bring the wedding parties and go yeah. back and forth and really enjoy the entire environment. It is magical with a capital M. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. I know you love Lake Maggiore and this beautiful resort. You are always welcome with us. So uh, I hope to see you very, very soon when we will solve this COVID uh, situation, you know? Yes. And uh, now it's the, the time for Sylvia. So now you are going from the Lake Maggiore to the beautiful, cozy Lake Orta, which is just behind the mountains, 20, 25 minutes far from Stresa. And when we come to Italy with our group of wedding planners for our fam trip, we've selected both of you to visit. And thank you for explaining where one of you is to the other. Sylvia, a longtime friend of Wetaways and a very important partner to us as well. We love you. Thank you for being here. Tell us about the magical Villa Aminta on Lake Orta. So thank you so much to give me the opportunity to be here today and show you Villa Crespi. So we are very close to Lake Maggiore. I would like to first start to where we are exactly. So Villa Minta is just here on Lake Maggiore, but in half an hour you can reach Orta Lake a small and I can tell you secret lake and not so well known even from the Italian people, but uh, where you can enjoy an amazing wedding in a romantic atmosphere. So as uh, Ivan told you before, we are just uh, 45 minutes from Milano Malpensa airport and in one hour, you can reach several main cities like Como, Milano, Torino or the Swiss border. But now I introduce you Villa Crespi, that you know it's a dream come true. I would like to start with the history. It was built in 1879 from um, an Italian merchant uh, of cotton, so Mr. Crespi. He traveled a lot in North Africa for his job, so North African and also the Arabian Peninsula. He fell in love with uh, the, um, the Baghdad uh, atmosphere. 
and he decided to build a palace uh, and it was an amazing present for his wife. So very like a lucky woman. <laughs> so 30 years to build this palace uh, that it's a, you know, a masterpiece of uh, Moorish art uh, because uh, every single wall, corner, uh, windows is completely rich of these amazing decorations. So this is the main facade, but also inside is completely decorated. So remember a lot of the Middle East uh, properties. It has also a um, touch of uh, the Alhambra in Spain, and it became an hotel in uh, 1990, after a full renovation, today is a five-star luxury hotel open all year round, so unusual for the Italian lakes. We have a, just a small break of two weeks uh, uh, between January and February, and this is the atmosphere you can feel, you can see around the property. Small boutique hotel, we are part of Relais et Chateau family. And the villa has in total 14 rooms, so divided in six double rooms and eight suite. This is few pictures of the romantic atmosphere around us. So our highlights, the fairy tale like atmosphere of our hotel that remember the 1001 Arabian nights, the two Michelin restaurant uh, with the Mediterranean creative philosophy of our chef uh, Antonino Cannavacciuolo and uh, the amazing park uh, around uh, the property where we can uh, uh, welcome a symbolic ceremony. But first we start from the hotel. So this is the atmosphere of our rooms. This is a, a master suite uh, that is called Sherazad because a few years ago we gave a touch for each room. We decided to give an Arabian, an Arabian princess name for each room. So this is the Sherazad, and in this moment I'm in the Amira suite. So all rooms enjoy um, the original parquet floors. A lot of rooms have the romantic for post bed and uh, an amazing lake view. So 14 rooms uh, divided in uh, six uh, categories. We start from the classic room for about 24 square meters and you can see from the photos each room is completely different from the others. So the style is similar, what is changed is the color, the size, and of course uh, the view. This is our lake view suite. And uh, you know, it's perfect for a wedding because with only 14 rooms, uh, it's very easy for a buyout of, to have the exclusive views of Villa Crespi and entire for the hotel and the restaurant. So now I will show you our chef, Antonino Canavacciolo. I know that is not so easy for you to say because it's too long and complicated. I have to tell you, uh, our chef has two Michelin starts since 2007. In Italy, he's a celebrity chef. He's doing uh, a lot of uh, food programs on the Italian television. So it's, um, this is why it's a celebrity chef. He came from the south of Italy, from Campania. So from Vico Equense, it's very, it's a small village close to Sorrento. He proposed a Mediterranean cuisine. This is, uh, these are a few proposals. So I have to tell you, it's a big and tall man with big hands, but uh, he creates amazing and special dishes. Just a few examples here for you. And this is the style of the restaurant. So for uh, weddings, we can propose uh, small intimate weddings for a maximum of 20 people in a private dining room with a beautiful 
table, a big table, imperial table, or the exclusive use of the restaurant for a maximum 120 people. What is very nice uh, that uh, remember a lot the same philosophy of the rooms, uh, each dining room of the restaurant is completely different from colors and decorations. This is an idea of what we can propose as testing menu, and these are a few pictures. We can also propose our beautiful garden during the nice season, and uh, our pastry chef uh, can create uh, beautiful wedding cakes. Uh, I have to tell you, we have uh, the classic wedding cakes, but uh, from last winter, our pastry chef create uh, uh, seasonal gourmet cakes for the weddings. So to have, uh, you know, a different touch uh, also for the cakes, uh, for our high level of service. With the exclusive use of the villa, we can also create uh, a nice atmosphere during the dinner with live music, with an amazing open bar, with a dessert buffet, and the party during the night. This is one of our wedding cakes. And uh, you know, I have to tell you, if you can describe Villa Crespi, I can just say romantic, magical, and forgettable. So, we can personalize all the testing menu, the service, we can use all our spaces for the memorable day of your uh, guest. This is just a, a few information for the maximum capacity, as I told you, 120 guests, the exclusive of the hotel and the annual opening. And uh, about the restaurant uh, last winter, TripAdvisor recognized us a few awards. We are the third best restaurant in the world, the second uh, one for the European market and the first one uh, for Italy. So we are very proud for these awards. Uh, just a few words about where we are. Lake Orta, as I told you before, it's a small lake, uh, so secret, very magical. And um, there are just few churches around us. Uh, there's also an amazing town hall. And this is the picture, is directly on the lake. It's a small hidden gem. So you can really enjoy and spend an amazing wedding and maybe stay a few more days uh, to really enjoy our atmosphere. And that's it. It's a small property, but I hope you can come and enjoy the atmosphere of Lake Orta. Rene and Pamela, I'm waiting for you. Gonna come. Um, Villa Crespi is really a jewel in Italy's crown. And Antonino, Chef Antonino, is definitely a celebrity in Italy. And anywhere he goes, people crowd him because he's a very yeah. well figure. He's a very large man, like you said, but he's a very well-known man with a very deep soul, so creative. The, I know for a fact that the restaurant is always full, even though the rooms, there are only 14 rooms, it's because people come from all over to enjoy the food in that restaurant. And you know for a fact that the wedding menus are incomparable. They are just so fantastic. And we love when we're able to book site inspection tours for our wedding planners and their couples and to be able to go and see these spectacular properties and experience the food and see the atmosphere and celebrate their weddings. I mean, we're, we love it. And we are so appreciative that you joined us. So, and we know you're open now. So you yeah, yeah, we are open. We reopen now. Uh... May 29th with um, a lot of requests. I have to tell you our main market is Italy for, of course, for the chef. And we are working very well 
uh, of course, during the weekend we are fully booked. Uh, the hotel uh, is more quiet during the midweek, but as I told you, the restaurant is fully booked lunch and dinner every single day. So we are lucky for the moment. <laughs> Your property is the property to go to for real foodies. People yeah, exactly. absolutely appreciate that. And they love the artistry and the flavor. So, I mean, it's an absolute perfect destination. Um, Pamela, do you have any questions? Are, are you on? Uh, yes. So I have a few questions. Um, we will start with Villa Minta. Um, can you tell us the maximum capacity in your largest venue space? for a wedding uh, it, yeah so we've got a lot of spaces for weddings and a lot of venues you can go from 10 people up to 160 140 but in the private beach just in front of the resort during the uh, spring and summer season we can also do and uh, put a marquee and we host twice an indian wedding for 450 people so we've got large spaces but inside property, the maximum capacity goes from 140, 160 maximum, okay? Fantastic, perfect. And for those larger yeah. weddings, for all of our wedding planners on, um, if there are overflow guests that need additional accommodation, we can help to source that as well. Um, yeah. What is the weather like in the winter? Well, uh, it depends. Uh, last year in November, we had very sunny and beautiful days. Uh, rather than in May was raining a lot. So uh, the change, the, the, the weather is changing everywhere, you know, and you can, you can't do uh, right now, you know, uh, forecast, but uh, uh, on the lake, thanks to the, the, the mild climate of the lake, we never have snow on the ground, on the peaks as well. Uh, you, you've got all the, the peaks covered by snow all around the lake, but on the ground, it's very, very difficult to have snow. So during the winter, I can say you've got uh, five degrees, three degrees, 10 degrees, depending on if it is a sunny day or not. Beautiful, perfect. But, the lake, but, but the lake is beautiful four season per year, yeah. Definitely Celsius, it's not 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 right. degrees Celsius. Celsius. Sorry? Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Celsius. Sorry, sorry. No, no, Degrees okay. is Celsius. Yeah. It's different. Yes, you you are used to use Fahrenheit. Yeah. No, no, it's our uh, Celsius degrees. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you so much. And can ceremonies, wedding ceremonies, take place on Isola Bella? Yeah. Uh, we've got an agreement with the owner of the Is of the Isola Bella, so you can also uh, do a celebration. Uh, on, on the island, but not religious uh, weddings, only symbolic uh, ceremonies, as well as in the Villa Minta. Perfect. If you want to get married in a, in a church, you have to go in a in the right place. So in Stresa, in Carciano, is uh, in Babino, you've got a lot of churches around the, the property and the island. Beautiful. We always we always advise symbolic weddings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the ease of the production. Um, what is the noise ordinance for, if you know Isola Bella as well as your property? Sorry? The noise, is there a, a noise restriction, a time that the noise needs to be cut off? The music cut off. Uh, of, uh, on the Isola Bella, there are some restrictions because it is private owned by the prince. And when the family is in, they don't want to have visitors after um, 5.30, 6 p.m., okay? So there are some uh, restrictions. Uh, on the other hand, uh, at, at Villa Minta, if you get the whole resort on exclusive basis, you don't have a uh, limit of time, limit of venues. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, during the normal operational season, Midnight is the time limit for the live music, for the entertainment, and for the, let me say, party, okay? Because, of course, we've got other guests that they want to sleep uh, upstairs, you know? Right. 
Right. Perfect. Okay. That is fantastic. Those are the questions I have for now for Villa Minta. Um, and now we're going to move on to Villa Crespi. We have similar questions for Villa Crespi. Um, what is the absolute maximum capacity of the venue for a wedding? 120 people. 120. The maximum capacity outside, uh, you know, but in case of, uh, you know, the plan B in case of bad weather, we have to move inside and is 120. Perfect. And um, can your chef collaborate with another chef uh, that is brought in by one of the wedding planners? No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Why would you want to collaborate with anybody else when you I'm are? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no way. Absolutely. Um, and can you repeat once again how to get to your property from Milan? The best way is uh, with, uh, you know, rental car, private transfer. And it's about in one hour from Milano city center, 45 minutes from uh, Malpensa International Airport. Perfect. And are you able to build a marquee on your property as well, a tent in the greenery of your property? Yeah. Beautiful. Of course, in the in the gardens. Perfect. And and I would like to share just for a moment that um, Chef Antonino and his wife, the owners of the property, the the brains behind the everything, the creativity of this wonderful establishment, have a big surprise in store for 2021. From a little birdie told me that two new properties are going to be opening. Where will those be, Sylvia? So one will be here on Lake Horta, just uh, three kilometers far from here, and uh, a new and modern property, uh, perfect for weddings. And the second one in the south of Italy, on the Sorrento Hills. Mm. So just 20 minutes far from Sorrento City, but up the hills in a magical atmosphere with a lot of nature. And it will be the first restaurant signed by Antonino Chef in the south of Italy. Yeah. Close to his, his land because he came from right. there. Right. So I will update you soon uh, with all the news and photos. That's going to be incredible for sure. Um, courageous in these times to be opening new properties, but you have such a strong following in the Italian and European markets that it's just fantastic. You know, one thing, and I know that wedding planners that watch this already know because they're so creative and they're such collaborators just by nature, but both Villa Aminta and Villa Crespi are outdoor wedding spaces for the daytime. You want to enjoy the exterior atmospheres, nature, all of the beauty that's surrounding. And then, you know, as the sun goes down, you can party and have all of those really cool romantic lights and the lanterns and all of that great stuff. But this, these are real daytime experiences and midweek experiences for a little bit break on the pricing because we know that it's pricey, but um, midweek is always a great opportunity to consider. And we always lead our clients, our wedding planners in that direction. Also, if their clients can go midweek, they'll save a little bit of money. Yeah, for sure. Um, those of you that are, that love to come on wetaways.com and we love for you to come on wetaways.com, you can see both properties um, with all of the photographs that they have here in Villa Aminta and you can look at all their photographs. Does that look like a wedding cake? My God, that is such a beautiful building. And Villa Crespi, also an amazing structure in this incredible setting. I mean, it just makes, it makes me want to come right now. I wish the borders were open, soon they will be. Um, so you can see all of that. And then um, in the future, we'll be featuring the new properties from Villa Crespi. Pamela, any other questions? Um, that, that's it for now. Of course, as always, if any of our planners have any additional follow-up questions, they can always shoot us an email and we will forward that on. 
and uh, we will be sending a follow-up with all the information. Ivan and Sylvia, coming to us from Italy, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank, thank you, you so for much. this opportunity. And <laughs> I, I hope to, to see you very soon, as I told you before, but now that the borders maybe are open, so please come, stay with us, enjoy Italy, enjoy our property and our friendness. And one of the things that Ivan and I love to do is sing John Denver songs. So we'll bring our John Denver music along and we'll just sing all night long. I've got, a, I've got also my colleague that is a piano player. So sometimes during the night we are singing some songs and also country songs of John Denver or, uh, you know, Alan Jackson and everything. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Sylvie, thank you so much. Say hi to everybody at the properties and take care. We will see you soon. Ciao, everyone. We'll see you Ciao. next Thursday. Next Thursday, July 16th, same time, same station. Don't forget the Wetaways Advantage, travel and the business of weddings, venue sourcing. Now you can see exactly why venue sourcing is so important. We'll see you everybody next week. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao a tutti dall'Italia.